everyone, this is Sasha, aka Your Frugal Friend, and today I'm going to be answering someone's question who commented on another one of my videos. She wanted to know how to resize large files for Etsy. So sometimes if you're selling a very large PDF file, a digital planner would be an example of something that's an extremely large um, PDF file. You have to compress the file in order to be able to load it onto Etsy. Etsy has a um, maximum file size that you can use, which is 20 megabytes. And so if you want to compress that file, you can compress it to fit underneath the 20 megabytes. Uh, you can also, if you have more than five files, you can zip files together to equal that 20 megabytes and upload them that way. But I've had to compress digital planner files myself to be able to load them onto Etsy or just I like to compress them so they don't take so much space um, up on my Dropbox drive because if you're using Dropbox or something to house files that you uh, provide to people too, you're paying for the amount of storage that you use. So compressing files is a really great way to get them to be smaller without losing any quality. And always to, you want to uh, test the files that you do compress to make sure that it doesn't lose quality and it doesn't look bad. But from my experience, I've actually compressed digital stickers up to I think seven times before they lost any quality so I could get them as tiny as possible so I could zip all the files together to provide to someone on Etsy. So this is a, uh, a um, web-based application that I like to use for this purpose. It's called I Love PDF, and it's free and it's easy to use. So you can go to ilovepdf.com and click on Compress PDF. And then you'll go to Select PDF File, grab a PDF file that you've created. I'm going to open this one. I'm going to select Compress PDF, and it's turning it from... 645.54 kilobytes down to 63.11 kilobytes. And you can open the file, it automatically saves to your drive, usually your download file. You can open it to see if it's lost quality. This is just a PDF delivery file. If it was something that I was going to print, it would be something that I um, print out on my computer. I would print it before I compressed it and I would, and I would um, go ahead and I would print it after compression to make sure that the file is the right size. But let's say that you've compressed your file and it's still over that maximum file size of 20 megabytes that Etsy has. So what I would do in that case is I would take that file length, you would grab the template link of the file from Canva, and then you would upload it onto a Canva template link file delivery form because you have to have a file uploaded to Etsy in order to deliver the product to someone. So you're going to put your link on so something like this, like a file delivery uh, template. I can link to this underneath this video so you can get it for free and you can um, just go ahead and grab it and use it for your needs. And then you would download this as a PDF and you would upload it to something like Google Drive or to Dropbox. I use Dropbox because um, I find that it's more, it, I just like the security of it. I like that it's not integrated with my Gmail or anything like that. And so then you go, okay, well, how much does it cost? So for Dropbox, you can get up to two gigabytes of storage uh, for free. And that's a lot of files. I didn't have to start paying for Dropbox until after I'd been selling on Etsy for, I think, three years. So you can use it for a really long time. I use it for my courses, for my commercial use templates. So I have a lot of data on my Google Drive. So, I mean, on my Dropbox Drive. So that's just uh, another way you can do it. But for just com simple compression of files, I highly recommend I Love PDF. They also have a site called I Love PNG if you sell digital like clip art or PNG files, digital stickers, and you want to compress them down to have a smaller file size to upload into your Etsy shop more easily. That's another way to do it. So this is what I highly recommend doing, and I hope that this helps everyone out who is curious about this.